You are not going to believe what I just saw. I'm a piece of poo, and on my way here, I saw the most massive colon cancer I have ever seen in my poo life. How did that cancer get from a teeny little cell to a giant tumor? I'm going to tell you. Normally, cells multiply by a process called cell division. We need this process to make sure our tissues constantly replace old cells with healthy new cells. We start with one cell, and this cell undergoes replication, meaning it makes two copies of everything it needs to survive, like organelles and proteins. It then divides into two separate cells. It's like a magic trick. Let me show you. Okay, we have one cell. You're watching, sir. You're watching. Look! Look, 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 look! Whoa, two cells, magic. Each cell has its own copies of the contents. Cell division is controlled by hundreds of genes. Some genes promote cell division, while other genes suppress it. We need this balance to make sure we have just the right amount of cells in our body. But when this balancing system goes wrong, it can result in cancer. There can be mutations in the genes that control cell division. Mutations can cause this promoter gene to be louder or this suppressor gene to be quieter. Both actions lead to increased cell division, which means cells will uncontrollably divide and divide without stopping. More and more cells will accumulate, which clump into a growing cancer. So, for example, you pass by Forever 21 and you see a cute pair of boots. Good Angel says, you're broke. But Bad Angel says, just put it on your credit card. When this balance works well, the good angel's voice is louder. And so you walk away and save the money. But when there's a mutation, the bad angel's voice dominates. And so you end up with a cute pair of boots and a whole lot of debt. So what does colon cancer have to do with me, a piece of poo? Everything. And that's because some of the earliest symptoms of colon cancer can be found right here. If you have colon cancer, there might be blood right there near my butt crack, and there might be mucus. The poo might also get slimmer. I really do try. <laughs> there can be constipation, diarrhea, or changes in bowel frequency. So sir, next time you take a poop, take a good look at the toilet bowl. Take a sniff. You never know what you've been missing if you keep flushing me away. Thank you.